Welcome, welcome, my beautiful Sagittarians. I'm Brenda, Brenda Tarot, and I'm here again today to bring you your general tarot and oracle card forecast for this week. Keep in mind, this is a general. Not every single card or the airy energy they carry may resonate with every single one of you, but take what you can from it and throw the rest in out into the universe to those that it will resonate with. If you want a private reading with me, all that information is posted below this video as well as the cards I'm using for this week in the information box below. Okay, let's see what we have here. My beautiful, beautiful score. Pardon me, my beautiful, beautiful Sagittarians. I just finished doing Scorpio. Okay, here we go. Let's see what we have here, spirit for them send them what they need to see what they need to know what they need to expect past present and future please spirit okay Let's see what our crowning energy is for this week spirit okay we have the two of swords and we've had some three cards here flip so I'm taking them you have the six of swords you have the ten of wands you have the four of swords and you have the page of swords lots of swords here wow thank you spirit oh things are looking up ten of pentacles And we have the King of Wands and we have the Queen of Wands. What a power couple this is. Beautiful. Too many. Here we go. And we have the Queen of Cups. Ooh, this is interesting. Okay. Let's see what our all of our energy is for this reading. You have been given again the Six of Swords. Okay, we'll take it. Your first energy card. I've shuffled in advance, guys, so that you know that, okay? Six of, oh no, to the sea. Reminds me of that Six of Swords going off. Calmer Shores and you've got Surrender Negative Thinking and your question throw it out there into the universe this will be your answer answers from the angel deck throw that question out there ask your guides ask the divine ask spirit to send an answer to my Sagittarians please be assertive. Go after it. Don't sit on your backside here. Go for it, my friends. Okay, let's see what we have here. Okay, starting off uh, right off the bat with our Six of Swords. As I had said to you, the Six of Swords is all about, uh, you know, going forward here. And you've got it twice here now, but you're going forward. It's the end of any challenges that you've been dealing with. And, you know, things are going to be looking up now. You're leaving the worst behind and going into a better phase and a better situation. It's like a welcome relief, okay? So you're finding your way to a peaceful place. It's the end of depression or the end of an illness and it's travel or relocation. But I see it as leaving troubled waters and going to calmer shores here. Definitely going going in a new direction and you're only going to take those that support you and are in your end of the ring here coming in with your first energy card you got to the sea so yeah you you know I want you to, to think about going with the flow right now okay and uh and allowing things to just fall in place, allowing those puzzle pieces to gently start to insert and, and start to fit into place in your life. You know, when it comes to relationships, there are points in relationships when you have to decide to go with the flow rather than rather than take control or actually dictate the course you share with another. 
you know, when it comes to the prosperity, maybe the business part of your life, everything seems to work out when you stop scrambling and allow the sea of opportunities to wash over you and wake you up to all the most prosperous potential that you've got to give. So to get that flow, you need to address your beliefs about abundance and money, right? And the true meanings of your personal currency lies in your skills, your talents, your abilities, and most important, your core beliefs. So don't be afraid to step up here, but go with the flow, my beautiful friends, both in relationships and in your in your career right now. You've got surrender to negative thinking. Okay, so you have control over your thoughts. When negative thoughts surface, say thank you for sharing and quickly refocus the positive affirmation. So, you know, every day doesn't go, you know, perfectly. We do get our negative moments. And when you do, take a, take a look at it and say, okay, fine, dealt with it. Now I'm moving on and I'm going to think uh, how I can turn this negative into a positive. So stand in your grace of positivity. Stand in your power of, of being unique. Stand in your power of your truth here. And don't allow any negative thinking to take over, take the lead this week. Stay positive. Now, the answer to your question could be, be assertive. So it's stepping up. It's seeing the possibilities that you have. It's, it's, you know, it's being able to pull that rabbit out. They just showed me pulling a rabbit out of a hat. Uh, that means there's possibilities, there's surprises, there's things that could be coming in this week as long as you maintain your stability, your balance, and your positive way of looking at it. But keep moving forward. Don't sit there. Don't wait for things to land at your feet. Move forward and go after what it is you want. Stand in your positivity now and go for what it is you want because you're going in a brand new direction here. It's beautiful. Now, there are a lot of swords here. Let's see what we got. First of all, you got the Two of Swords. The Two of Swords talks about being conflicted, maybe at a crossroads with somebody else that is, you know, is in opposition to you that you feel that you're having to debate with or argue with or work out something with. But you could also be at a crossroads and conflicted with yourself. This is about making a major decision. So some of you may need mediation. Uh, you might need somebody to step in here and be a mediator to help you do this and to help show you what you have available to you. Compromise always comes up with this card. I always think of it, you know, we go out for something that we want and we want to go for the big picture and sometimes we don't always get it, especially when it comes to legal situations. So um, I think you could be at a crossroads making a decision somebody else with somebody else and it could be a legal decision. So make sure you see the picture in complete clarity and then you're going to be able to make this decision properly. Coming in again with the Six of Swords coming in behind you, again you're leaving the worst behind something's completed now you can go forward in a brand new direction traveling in a new direction now leaving those troubled waters behind there will always be a few little blips I mean you don't throw a boat out in the water and not expect a storm sometimes or a big wave but you're going to be able to handle it you're going to be able to handle the the, the future blips coming towards you rather than what you had to deal with in the past ten of wands yeah you're going in a new direction. You lightened your load. You said, you know what? I don't need th this aggravation anymore. I need. I don't need this workload anymore. I'm going to lighten the workload. If it's literally at your place of profession, allocate some of those jobs to somebody else uh, that you can't do everything. You're not Superman or Superwoman. But also, you could have lightened your load. There could have been something holding you back, weighing you down. At times, you might have felt you were pushing dead weight or pulling dead weight uphill. Some of you it could have been in a one-side relationship where you were doing all the work and now you're going uh -uh, I'm out of here I'm lightening my load and now you're able to move forward whatever the situation is you're able now to traverse this next part of your journey in a much easier way you've got the four of swords it talks about maybe you have worked very hard and you're exhausted it means get your rest you could be going through a healing uh, a healing uh, uh, phase in your life right now and maybe you're going to be tapping into getting that much needed rest it's your spot to be where you can just let it all out take a deep breath and enjoy this rest heal yourself through some situation here because I see that you that the universe is saying you need your rest now coming in in your now position and it could be this you know in what you're feeling right now in the center position you get the page of swords page of swords again another swords card it talks about getting a message a message from this particular uh, individual that could be coming in and they might have blurted something out uh, you know and you and you heard something from them that you didn't expect they should know or why did they why did you have to find it out in this manner don't attack the messenger just take it this is going to help for you this may cause 
caused a few delays to maybe the plans that you wanted to make or go forward with at this time but you needed to hear this whatever this was about it was about a truthfulness and it, and the truth is what's going to free you so that you can move forward in a confident way beautiful beautiful card coming in below that the crowning energy 10 of pentacles yes happy 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 you're going to be having stability in the financial part in the material part of your life you're going to be able to be happy within your family your circle there your 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 soul pod that you surround yourself with love 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 that card king of wands coming in behind you this is the focus card okay don't uh you know Go for the big picture. He goes bigger, he goes home. Okay, he isn't dealing with all the little menial tasks. He goes for what he wants. And I think you're going to be staying focused on something. Keep that in mind. Take on the energy of this King of Wands. Okay, he could be somebody coming in here that is, you know, going to instruct you, help you, get you moving forward, get you going, and able to give you some, maybe some good advice as well. He's not the King of Cups, but he is the King of Wands. And that is the King that says, you know what, I'm moving forward and I need to focus on it and go full stream and go towards what it is I want. You could be stepping out to do something new on your own. You know, maybe you're going out and, and you're creating a new business of your own. You're stepping out of the, out of the shadows into the limelight light because you could be speaking and teaching in front of a group of people or, you know, an audience. Have the courage for your convictions. You're making a difference right now, my beautiful friends. Now, here's your power couple again. You have the Queen of Wands, okay? This is trusting your, your own intuition. This is balancing home and career. Uh, this is being able to move forward and the desire for, you know, getting attention and recognition. She's the queen that I always tell you that, that she walks around with the finger up in the air because she pretty much has been to hell and back. She's been through the fire. She's come out uh, like the phoenix and, and learned from all those experiences and, and challenges she had to deal with. And she says to all the naysayers, watch me. So she, again, pulls off of the power of her king here with staying focused and going for what it is she wants. Okay, she's going forward with, with great self-confidence. She's got talents and skills and she's able and capable and so do you. So that is what you're being advised to do. Go for it. Be assertive. Okay, Queen of Cups. As I said, she tends to be a bit different from the Queen of Wands because she's nurturing. She has the ability to articulately and creatively communicate with people on their level. In other words, she's done her research. She stepped back. She's listened to what they've, they, how they act, how they tick, how they, how they are, and then she goes in and she's able to smooth things out with her gentle way. So I think that you're going to be doing this. Um, this is uh, to dealing with emotional issues and maybe relationships with others. But it's about, you know, stepping up and 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 being there to nurture others. But you're also going to be nurturing yourself before you do that. This is all about the love of your family. You could be dealing with family issues where you want to nurture, mother, and care for people in your home at this time. It could be a beautiful water sign that's coming in to be with you, to console and, and want to nurture and take care of you and be there as a shoulder to lean on at this time. It could be a water sign, as I said, a Cancer, Scorpio, or a Pisces. But this individual has great a great gift for talent talent uh, of being creative and I think you're going to be able to do that too and especially when it comes to uh, <clears throat> communicating with others be creative put yourself in the shoes like she does of her court and then she knows how to understand and how to go in and communicate spirit we're going to clarify these what do they need to see what do they need to know what do they need to expect past present and future please Okay, here we go. So coming in with that balance card, that two of swords here, getting to see the whole picture, you have the Empress. Okay, the Empress, <clears throat> you could be going for something here where a decision is made on property. Maybe you're fighting something in court where you want a settlement or property of some sort. Uh, and, uh, you know, she she loves beautiful things and she has that ability to go forward and make things happen for her. So that that could be what you're doing here. <clears throat> excuse me, wanting to, to uh, you know, get the support here for something that is, you know, in the form of abundance. And she does that. So I think you're going to be stepping up. You're going to be looking at things. I mean, she does sit on the side of her emperor who does, you know, ticks off all the boxes and is logical. She wants abundance and she's going to go after it. So stay proactive. It's an excellent time for emotional and physical health for some of you as well uh, here this week. 
coming in with your six of swords again you have the strength card so you may have to uh, be looking at situations um, you've dealt with something you're moving forward the worst is over and now you can just take a breath and you're not going to have to fight and go in with the roar of a lion anymore to get ahead you're going to be able now to look at things with inward strength you might be dealing with still some challenges here as I said you don't throw a boat in the water and not expect a storm to come up but I think you're going to be looking at things when you're communicating with people again let's take the energy of the Queen of Cups too and put the strengths together here with compassion understanding and possibly forgiveness remember you can catch more flies with with honey than you'll ever will with vinegar ten of wands you have the gift card the six or pardon me no this is the four of coins <clears throat> no this is the five of coins I'm sorry I'm looking at everything upside down here okay so my beautiful beautiful Sagittarians I do think that some of you could have been going through a situation here when you had to clean house you had to lighten your load uh, where you felt as though you were doing everything all on your own and now you have help here you have support here if you're feeling lack and loss in a situation that could have to do with money go to your go to your people in authority that you can tap into for you know to help you with your resources maybe it's something as simple as tweaking your budget go to your bank go to your go to your uh, lending institutions and your loan institutions uh, this this you know at this time if it is a money issue others I think you might be dealing with something where you feel alone you feel lonely you feel as though you <clears throat> you're out in the cold there's help out there just reach out don't deal with situations this week all by yourself don't isolate yourself to do that four of swords you've got the death card yes something ended and you need a rest now okay so death card means endings and new beginnings accept and and go for with enthusiasm to those new opportunities presenting themselves uh, it could have been the conclusion of a job it could have been a contract could have been a relationship it could have been anything but you've got this beautiful white rose and this is the gift that says you know what embrace this brand new beginning ending spring new beginnings my friends now page of swords that message that you get happy ever after so whatever comes in here this is the card that says happiness happiness in your relationships cups are filling absolutely the happy ever after card beautiful so I do think you're going to be able to work this situation out <clears throat> On top of your Ten of Pentacles, you have the Five of Wands. You might have to promote yourself this week, defend yourself, uh, express yourself, but maintain that stability and balance here uh, to listen to both sides of the story, okay, this week. Um, you're definitely going to see uh, you will win this battle, but pick your battles wisely. Coming in with the King of Wands, staying focused, again, a double message, Queen of cups so a lot of power couples coming in here uh, again nurturing yourself taking care of yourself going for your goals at the same time the world card on top of the queen of wands okay making your mark on the world something's going to the next level this is always a card uh, and it can be the card of travel as well you could be uh, wanting to go somewhere it could be again as I had said earlier it could be a business trip or it could be a a personal trip but you know what <clears throat> this is all about receiving an award and recognition for something that you've done well you could be moving you getting to a new house you could be moving to a new job as I said travel comes into mind as well but you're gonna have clarity now this is beautiful you're moving towards your goals you've stayed focused and you're not backing down that's beautiful and in the return you get that reward for your hard work and being assertive coming in with your Queen of Cups you have been given the Hierophant now this is the blessing or the message from the divine and I do think some of you and it's also the unity card you could be uh, joining spiritualist groups you could be joining holistic healing groups you could be joining groups that are tapping into your higher self that are, are going to walk the same path as you and have the same beliefs and faith pattern also this is the card of the church there could be there could be weddings engagements things going on around you with the church as well but I like to call it the blessing and the message from the divine something beautiful coming in towards you and knowing you have that protection around you well my beautiful beautiful uh, Sagittarians this is your reading for this week and I wish you a great remainder to today and a beautiful optimistic week here to look forward to again I want to remind you that the universe is not happening to you it's reacting to you so be very mindful of that 
energy you throw out into it. Keep it positive. Let go of the negative thoughts and, and feelings that you have this week. Know that you have opportunities. There's doors opening here to you. You've got the Ten of Cups. You've got the Ten of, Ten of Pentacles, two of the best cards in the deck. And you're able now to see prosperity either in, in your material part of your life or the emotional part of your life in relationships. And the world is yours. So just keep moving forward and be assertive because you are going in a new direction. Beautiful. And I see it as a better direction. The universe and the divine, your higher power, want you to succeed, want you to find your happiness and peace. So surrender to it and move forward towards your goals and happiness. Blessings, my beautiful souls, and know that I always and only stand in this circle of love and light for you. Let's all play safe, stay safe, and be safe, and I'll see you soon.